With the recent uh, events that have taken place, uh, there's been a lot of uh, discussion around uh, various questions internally, externally, having to do with COVID-19. Uh, what we're doing here is we're leveraging uh, Bolt 360 in order to provide a pre-built chatbot that is leveraging information from the World Health Organization, local governments, as well as uh, internal policies, internal procedures provided by the company um, through an Excel file that we can very easily upload into what we have here today, which is a Bolt 360 chatbot. So on the right-hand side, as soon as I hover over, um, we can see that we now have immediate information Think of it as a toolkit that we're providing uh, that enables you as a business to offload a lot of the common questions that are coming in related to COVID-19 coronavirus. So to show off some of the things that we can do, um, let's first take a quick example at the, uh, the chatbot itself. Um, so it's saying, hi, I'm the chatbot. Uh, if you have any questions about the outbreak, ask below. And what we're doing, um, we're also mentioning that we're not providing any personal information. So we're keeping this very high level, very informational uh, for the end user. We have some top questions. These are the most frequently asked questions related. Uh, now with the chatbot itself, you can fully customize the order of the questions that come in. You can customize which questions are more frequent within your organization. And then from the back end, you can also see those details as well. So to get things started, we can just start off by asking a few questions. So how is it transmitted? I click on the question, I get my answer. We can see the response down below. Uh, going a little bit deeper, um, let's just say, how do I know? if I have, and you can see that the autocomplete takes place. So we're able to recognize the intent of what that end user is trying to ask. We can show rich media within the application. This is a picture that's a, a little bit scaled down so we can actually click this open and view it with much more clarity. Finally, let's just do a little bit more and ask about where uh, there are cases uh, of Corona. So how many people uh, are infected with coronavirus? So go ahead and ask that question, and we actually have some follow-up information where uh, we have uh, different areas where we can pull information from. Um, let's just go ahead and click on this one right here, and then we can see the total number of cases for that particular area. We could mention any of the other locations and uh, be able to easily see where uh, the virus itself has actually taken place. Now, taking a look in the back end, so from an organizational perspective, if there are any questions that we had asked that there aren't uh, or isn't an answer for, we're able to see that as uh, represented as a red tile here, so some gaps in the knowledge base of where that would take place. But you can see all of the hits against all of the questions that have come in, the different ways that those questions are being asked. Now, some of the key, to, uh, key to benefits here, extremely fast to deploy. It's a pre-built package. You can actually deploy it in less than 24 hours. Uh, the way we deploy is just a simple snippet of JavaScript that gets deployed to the website. Leaving with zero footprint, you're offloading your resources uh, that would typically handle these repetitive tasks, able to handle more serious cases, more serious questions. And you can see that we're capturing knowledge and then we're able to complete information by seeing those gaps in the knowledge base over here. So take a look at the Bold360 uh, offering that we have that is um, able to provide a, a, a kit for um, the current coronavirus.